So it's time to plant up this uh, flood and drain. I'm going to plant it up with some uh, strawberry runners, which I've uh, propagated in the aquaponics flood and drain system. So they're ready to go. I've sprayed them with some, um, uh, what do I use, uh, wettable sulphur, just as a bit of a fungicide and miticide. Had some spider mites on there. So um, this, um, I'll just, uh, for the, where the pump comes in and out, I've just got a bit of 40 mil pipe. I've drilled a bunch of holes in it and I'll put in a bit of shade cloth down the middle just to maybe catch any debris. And here we go. I'm just gonna put a layer of uh, five mil gravel in the bottom. I've washed it out. And so now I'll just put the strawberry runners in. See, you can see the wettable sulfur on there. That'll come off over a little while. We'll just place them in, place them out. So there they are, just spaced them out and ready to um, fill in the gaps now with some expanded clay. So I'll just use a pot and um, put this on in, level it all out. Washed it, um, washed all the dust out before I used it. That's it planted and ready to um, fill it with nutrients and turn it on. Okay, so it's time to add the fertilizer. I'm using, uh, of course, uh, Strawberry Perfect. And we put, uh, this is a 70 litre tote, so we put 120 mil of A and 120 mil of B. Aim for an EC of between 1.8 and 2.2 and a pH around about 5.8 So there we go so you put the A and the B in separately, don't mix them together and concentrate it. Mix that up. And this should come on in a minute. We'll stir this around a bit. And then I want to measure the Okay, so we're taking a water sample and our EC is between 1.8 and 2, so that'll be fine. Now we just need to check the uh, pH. I'll just use a simple dropper method. Let's take a water sample there. One drop. And we want it In the yellow zone, where is it? Well, that'll be around about 6.5, so that'll be fine. Could be a little bit lower, but it should be all right. It doesn't have to be like spot on accurate. And then um, we want to use a bit of hydrogen peroxide just to kill any bugs and stimulate the root growth. I will go and get a measuring cup. Now we want two mil for, per 10 litres. We've got a 70 litre tote. So we want uh, about 14 mil.
We'll make it 15. There we go. This is actually flooding. You can see the pump. It's pumping the water up through there. It's just flooding the bed. We want it just to fill to the top and then switch off. I set it for eight minutes, but that was without the medium. So I'll check and um, see how long. See, it's full now, really. So it's ready to switch off. I'll just need to check the clock and see um, how many minutes is to go. I might need to adjust it. Just drop it down a little bit. I'll just uh, have a look. Well, we've got plenty of water there. Plenty of nutrients on it. time I can't read it it's about four is it five minutes it's just there that's the timer five minutes so in five minutes it's full so I'll adjust the times so that it only runs for five minutes four times a day and that'll be perfect thank you so there we go so strawberries are planted and hopefully um, We'll have a good year. Thank you.